Niger is one of the largest countries in the West Africa Sahel region and has become the fourth sovereign nation to come under a military junta since the year 2020 within the ECOWAS region. Niger is bounded on the northwest by Algeria, on the northeast by Libya, on the east by Chad, on the south by Nigeria and Benin, and on the west by Burkina Faso and Mali. On the 26th of July 2023, a coup d'état occurred in Niger when the country's presidential guard Abdurrahman Tkiani detained President Mohamed Bazoum, a democratically elected president, and proclaimed himself the leader of a new military junta. He immediately closed the country's borders, suspended state institutions, and declared a curfew. What is the interest of France and Russia? On August 3, 1960, Niger gained its independence from France and became a sovereign nation and a member of the United Nations. Their independence marked the end of the French colonial rule. However, since its independence, there have been five military juntas, the first Nigerian coup took place on 15 April 1974, and it was led by Sini Kanch who overthrew President Hamani Diori. The second military coup took place in January 1996, led by Ibrahim Bar Manasara, who seized power from President Muhammad Usman. On April 9, 1999, the third military coup was led by Dada Malam Wank and ousted the transitional government established after Manasara's assassination. The fourth Nigerian coup occurred on February 18, 2010, led by Salu Jaibo and overthrew President Mamadou Tanja. The fifth Nigerian coup being the one of July 26, 2023. Since the fifth coup, there has been a war of words between the leader of the military junta, General Abdurrahman Tkiani, and France, while the Putschists are beginning to align with Russia. Some Nigerians claim that France and the Western Bloc have exploited all the riches of Niger such as uranium, petrol and gold, with 55% of Niger total export going to France when the poorest Nigerians are unable to eat three square meal. Niger is home to 27.3 million people, where two in every five live in extreme poverty on less than $2.15 per day. According to World Bank data, in 2021, poverty headcount ratio was estimated to be around 41.8%. Since General Abdurrahman Tkiani overthrew the president in a coup on 26 July, Russian colors have suddenly appeared on the streets of Niger. The fearless general has been seen romancing with the Russian government and the private Russian military mercenary the Wagner Group. Wagner Group is known to be skilled in war and was founded by Yevny Prigozhin, a former close ally of Vladimir Putin, the president of Russia. ECOWAS and Niger face off. Unlike the coup in other West African states, Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS has not officially sent a mediator or representative to Niger for negotiations. On 30 July, ECOWAS gave Niger's coup leaders and seven days ultimatum to hand power back to Bazoum or to face international sanctions and or use of force. ECOWAS leaders went ahead to sanction Niger same day, enforcing a no-fly zone over the country for all commercial flights and a closure of borders with Niger. A series of sanctions was also announced, including the suspension of all commercial and financial transactions between its member states and Niger, and the freezing of assets and travel restrictions for military personnel involved in the coup. On 7 August 2023, ECOWAS's seven days ultimatum for the reinstatement of deposed President Mohamed Bazoum in Niger expires. Currently, there is stay of action as actors and spectators awaits the next line of action from the economic bloc headed by the Nigerian president Bola Tinubu, whose recent presidential election was characterized with so much irregularities and the credibility of the electoral process flawed. It is alleged that many Nigerian consider his government illegitimate as they await the judgment of the election tribunal. Despite these sanctions, General Tkiani has said he is not bowing down and will not reinstate the ousted president. He has described the sanctions as illegal and inhumane, while urging Nigerians to stand tall and defend their nation from any external aggression and interference. Ikowash should not beat the drums of war that will invite Russia and France to a proxy war. Since the romance between Niger and France has gone south and Niger has found solace in the arms of Russia.